Yo everybody, welcome back to the channel and a happy new year to you all. This is my first video of 2020. As I'd say, I hope you all had a great uh, time over Christmas and New Year. Um, I had a great time, it's been good to have some time off. Well, I'm back doing um, my first video of 2020, which is my monthly portfolio update, which I usually do for you. Um, I was supposed to get this video out last week, probably about three or four days ago, but since the start of the new year, I've been quite sick and I lost my voice and literally could not speak whatsoever. It still feels a bit croaky now, but it's well enough to do this video. So yeah, guys, that's it with it. Um, into today's video now. Um, obviously, you can see there my portfolio now currently stands at three thousand eight hundred and fourteen pounds and three pence. It's been quite a bumpy ride over the last four weeks or so. Um, you can see it started. There we go. It started around three thousand. That's the last time I did it. Sorry, three thousand seven hundred and three pounds. You can see it rolls up, up, up. The highest it's been is £3,869, which was quite overvalued at the time, I feel. And it's going down back again up to 700 It's gone up again in the last couple of days. So that's what it currently stands at. Um, but before we get into the main content of the video, if you're new to the channel, definitely consider subscribing to the channel as I, it really, I'd really appreciate that. And hit smash the like button on this video if you like it. It'll help the algorithm. Uh, promote this video to more people and as you know I want a goal to a thousand subscribers and I hit that goal in the next few months and also as um, I did this a few videos ago I'll be doing um, get into the comments and engage let me know what you think of the portfolio after I've gone through it and I'll be picking a if you have a comments on the video I'll be picking a winner at random and I'll give you a shout out in my next video and I'll link your channel in the description so anyway guys enough babbling into today's video now so the first stock on the list is Abvi. Abvi again performing solidly. They're up three and a half percent in the last month. So there we go. The screen is a bit froze there. I own six shares of Abvi with the average cost of fifty-seven pounds and sixty-five pence. Um, I'm up seventeen and a half percent on my investment of Abvi, which is good. Still reaping the reward from buying a couple of shares in June and August when they were quite low. So that's Abby. I received a dividend last month from in November as well, which is good. And then the next stock in the portfolio is Verizon. Verizon was in the green, but now I am down. Yeah, sorry, they are down the 1.21 percent the last month. Verizon is generally a stock who do flutter from green and red over the months, but is one I will be. I haven't bought any shares for a while, but I will be buying more. I own eight shares of Verizon with the average cost of £45.82. And I'm down just 0.37% on my investment in Verizon. Next up on the list is AT&T. AT&T again been really performing well for me over a number of months now. Up a further 2.79% this month, which I also got a dividend in November with them as well. I own 12 shares of AT&T, average cost of £24.92. And I'm up just under 19% on my total investment with AT&T. Next up on the list we have is Coca-Cola. Again, past six months now this stock has been just getting better and better. I've not really bought many shares, I do think they're quite high. If you look on the year graph, they've gone up from, yeah, they've gone up 16% um, in the last year. So I own seven shares of Coca-Cola with the average cost of £36.96 and I'm up 12.8% on my investment as a whole. 12.12 just as I said that. Okay, the next up we have a Starbucks. Starbucks, have, um, it was down around 10% for me, but now they seem to be clawing their way back up a bit. Up 2.414% in this last 30 days. Sorry guys, I'm having a bit of a problem with the screen today. Not letting me scroll as smooth as I like. There we go. I have four shares of Starbucks. And the average cost is £71.14. And, and I'm down 6.23%, which is actually a recovery of around 4 or 5%. So it shows that the stock is rising. And next up we have is Colgate. Colgate have been, been performing quite poorly over the last couple of months now. Down 0.16%. I own five shares and uh, an average cost of £57.94 and I'm down 10% of my whole investment 
um, or 30 pounds. Again, no Colgate, good solid company. Don't have any doubts in them. I do think they'll be back strongly. If you can see on the year graph, they still are up 14% over the last year. I did probably buy them when it was at a high point, but you can't always time the market. Then next up we have is Microsoft. Microsoft been performing well over the last month, up 5.7%. I own just the two shares of Microsoft, I do, I do want to get more of these and they've also increased their dividend as well which is good. So I get two shares, the average cost of £112.24 and I'm up 7.28% on my whole with my investment with Microsoft. Next up, Johnson & Johnson. They are up 2.5% in this last 30 days. I got dividend recently from these as well. I own the two shares of Johnson & Johnson with average cost of £105.50 and I'm up three, around 3.5% of my investment as a whole. It's always is good guys when, you, when you're in the green and you're receiving the dividends as well. It does really, really puts a smile on one's face, so to say. Next is Ford. Ford again have been struggling recently over the last few months or so, but they're up 1.66% in the last 30 days. As you can see over the last year, very, very volatile. But I, I do want to try and pick in some up more shares up forward. I do think they will be rising again. I also received a dividend as well from these recently. I have 31 shares of Ford with the average cost of £7.92. And I'm down 12.5% on my investment as a whole with Ford. Next up is Royal Dutch Shell. I've been doing quite well the last month. You can see there they're up 7.21%. I own 8 shares with the average cost of £24.22 and I'm down 5% on my investment. It was around 12-15% to 15 at one point. I managed to buy a couple of shares at the end of November at a lower price. But yeah, Shell on the way back up by looks things. The oil, well, the another stock we'll get to shortly, BP, I think they're up on the last, few day, last 30 days as well. Next up we have is Pfizer, the drugs company, up 1.46% in the last 30 days. I own four shares of Pfizer with average cost of £28.91 and I'm up just under 2% on the whole with Pfizer. Next up we have Imperial Brands. These have been doing really well over the last uh, month. Um, up 12 point, well just under 13%. And I own six shares with the average cost of £20.30. Um, this I'm still down in the red, not buying much now again. It's another one who I was probably 15, 20% in the red with. Now I'm just 3% in the red. So they're on the way back up, Imperial Brands, which is good to see. Next up is PepsiCo. PepsiCo down a little bit this month, just 0.74%. Been struggling over the last couple of months though, since I bought them again. Another opportunity, another. Um, Instance of you can't really time when you buy in high or low, it just happens. I own just the one share of PepsiCo, average cost of £110.50, and I'm down just over 6.5% on my investment as a whole. Another one I'd like to be buying more of, but my new sort of strategy at the moment is I can't invest as much money as I've been wanting to due to certain life um, things that happen in life. So the dividend reinvestment at the moment on stocks that are cheaper as, well, as I receive um, dividends, obviously. That don't I can't really afford certain stocks with the dividends I receive, which is how it is, due to the size of my portfolio. So next up is Walmart. Walmart again, they're down one and a half percent the last 30 days. I own just the one share with the average cost of £91.76. Just a quick reminder guys, if you are enjoying this content, enjoying me talking about my portfolio, don't forget to smash the subscribe button and also destroy the like button if you're liking this video. But yeah, pep, uh, Walmart, sorry, down on my whole investment, just under 3%. And next up is BP. BP, as I said, Shell, Shell are up about 9%. And well, BP are also up, another gas and oil. Um, there we go. I've purchased quite a few shares of BP recently, just before the rise, which is good. Um, I own 17 shares now of BP. Average cost of £5.28, so I'm still over the average cost. As you can see there, it's £4.99. 
I own, uh, yeah, I'm down five and a half percent. Again, that was one that was 10 plus percent down in the red. So it's clawing its way back up. Uh, next up is US corporate bond, nice monthly dividend paying stock. Another one I probably like to invest more in as it is a monthly paying dividend. Uh, it's up 0.2% this last month. I own the two shares, average cost of £42.08 and I'm up 0.10% um, overall which isn't much really. But Next up is one of my new acquisitions, BA Tobacco. This was an instance of buying at a good time, not timing it on purpose, just an accident. I'm up 11% over the last 30 days. I think I bought what I buy the stock for. I bought it when it was for around £29, two shares on the 3rd of December, but since then it's obviously skyrocketed up 13% for me. The screen is really annoying me today, guys. Sorry, apologies. I own two shares with average cost, yeah, £29.90. And you can see that I'm just under 40% up on my investment. Not nearly an ethical company investing in cigarettes, but I do like the dividends, so that's what I'm all about, and I don't really care. So, next up we have is Bank of America. I'm up 4% this month. Dividend, another one who's been growing well. I own two shares, the average cost of £21.96. I do like my bank stocks, to be fair. The American ones are good. I have a few British ones, cut well, I have one British one now, but yeah, I'm up 20% on my investment with Bank of America. Next up is Intel. Intel again, I've been smashing it. Up 6% this month. I own just the one share, unfortunately. I wish I did buy more when I bought my original share, but that's just how it happens. Average cost of £37.53 and I'm up 21% on my investment as a whole. Next up we have is a S&P dividend aristocrat, down 0.3% the last 30 days. I own just the one share with the average cost of £44.71 and I'm up 0.31% as a whole. Another ETF. FTSE all were dividend up 2.2% in the last 30 days. I own just the one share of these as well, £43.56 is the average cost. And I'm up just under 2% on my investment. Another bank stock, which is Wells Fargo. They're down 1.5% this last 30 days. They've been doing really well for me though, to be fair, so I'll cut them some slack for going down that little bit. Just to make sure it don't happen again. Nah, I'm joking, they're really doing really well. Um, owns the one share of Wells Fargo, average cost £35.88 and I'm up 12.7% on my investment with Wells Fargo. Next up we have is Lloyds, Lloyds again, I've bought quite a few shares with dividends I've received. Uh, so they're up 1.8% the last month, they did have a big spike after Brexit got an um, Confirmed, but obviously back down to more of a usual price from now. I own 58 shares of Lloyds with average cost of 62 pence, and I'm up 2.31% on my investment. You can see there, I've bought seven shares and 12 shares over the last couple of months. Try and boost my stake in Lloyds. Next up, we have a National Grid. National Grid up 6.23% this last month. I own the three shares with average cost of eight pounds and 26 pence. And I'm up 15% on my investment. I'm really sorry if I do sound a bit croaky, guys. I'm still haven't fully recovered yet, but yeah, it doesn't. It's not good for me either sounding like this. Next up, we have is Taylor Wimpy. Um, up 8.77% this last 30 days. Been performing well recently. I own 14 shares. The average cost of one pound 81. And I own, uh, sorry, up just under 7% on my whole investment. I haven't bought any of these for a while, but I will be looking to buy some more soon. And you've got, I do have quite a lot of stocks and all that, but probably try and get around to give them all some love at some point. And then my last um, stock, which is a new one, and obviously this is the new strategy we've been talking about, Oriental Income, which is an investment trust. Uh, basically, these these um, I'm going to be investing any dividends that I get into these, as it's quite cheap and the dividend yield is really good as well. I think just off me owning 
nine shares, I think I'll get a 50 pence dividend on a quarterly basis and obviously I will be increasing more shares over the next few months of these as well. They are really good, obviously. I'm up uh, just 0.82 percent. I've got two orders queued today actually, so it'll put me up to 11. Once free trade, go, once that goes through today. So yeah guys, that is the portfolio for It's actually gonna put up a couple of pounds since I've done this video. I hope you've enjoyed the video for today, guys. Don't forget, smash the like button, subscribe to the channel if you're new and enjoy the content. I do updates regularly. Uh, I'll have another uh, couple of videos out in the next week or so. I'll have my Journey to a 1000 subscribers video, which will be out later on this week. And then next week at some point, we're doing my December dividend payment videos, as they, them videos do seem to do quite well. So yeah, guys, get in the comments as well. Have, have an engage with me, say what you think, I do love that. And also, like I said earlier in the video, I'll be picking up um, someone from the comments at random and give you a shout out in my next video and link to your channel. So that's it for today's video, guys. Hope you enjoy the rest of your days and weeks. Take care.